Hello and welcome to our tutorial on, cre on creating expenses. We're going to be using DEX in our case, so no, no need for Excel sheets or duplicate reporting. Um, and I will show you how, because you already know how to upload your receipts to DEX and you will see how effortless that is. So we are in the main view of um, uh, this selected company of AJ Property Development. We'll see uh, all the users, so um, within the admin view, but if you've got um, a view as a basic user, you will see only your name as a submitter and you're not gonna see the others. But if there's somebody else deciding on the expenses and checking them through, uh, and it's got admin access, they will see all of them. So in here, these are all the submitted uh, documents. This is the name of the suppliers, uh, the date on the invoices and who submitted it. Um, obviously, these were submitted through telephone app as a picture taken or emailed through, uh, through the designated email address or uh, drag and dropped through the web interface. Um, so what happens is now that we can put them in your order. And then let's start with Alice. Um, and we select all the uh, expenses. So if we do Emma, we can do all these two at the same time. And we're gonna add it to expenses report. So we can start a new expense report um, and then write a name that will be for Emma. Um, we can select what, uh, what period of time there is. Um, so it could be just for, for the week or it's for the whole month um, and then put a reference what it, for example, referred to. Uh, if we decided to do weekly, so it could be one full week up to 18th of June or in our case it would be 18th of May. So 21st of May, let's say for the last week because these are May expenses and it could be um, a poultry uh, and in Birmingham. So, and then we can add it to it, or we can just uh, put it to uh, existing um, uh, report and add it. So straight away, this expense will move away from uh, the costing and moves to the expenses. Then we've got Alice. Um, we're gonna add. Uh, we're gonna do a. Uh, um, added to existing report, which already might have a few more items in there already. And then and the Joseph ones, um, and, uh, and we've got his trip to London. So when we go back to the expense reports, we will see all the three types of expenses we've already pr produced. Um, and then we're going to look into them and uh, see what the reporting looks like. So when you click on uh, the employee's name, who, pre who it is preferred for, we'll see what it is for, who it is for, uh, and what period it relates to, and all the receipts with the references and the date of those and the values uh, we'll see on the report. So once this report is all added together and you're happy with it, you can put a little description uh, on what, what the trip was about, um, why the expenses, um, so um, could be a poultry exhibition, exhibition in um, Midlands. Um, this hasn't been paid for, and uh, are we going to publish it to uh, purchases and as awaiting payment. Um, and then this could be for us. So you can put whatever information you need. Uh, but the main thing is uh, once you're happy with the report, then you get the PDF uh, printout. And that will give you uh, totals for all the expenses for each employee. This can be printed out or emailed over. So downloaded and emailed over for a claim and request to uh, uh, reimburse um, any payments due on whatever basis is agreed between the employer and the, and the employee. So I hope it all makes sense um, and it, 
it probably will save you a lot of time rather than producing Excel sheets. You needn't worry about the VAT if there's any. Um, and it's a straightforward um, paper trail, uh, but we still have all, all the nominal accounts correctly allocated for each receipt. So thank you for your attention and um, I look forward to seeing you at another webinar.